Yeah, good evening to you. They're wrapping up for the day here at the Elections Processing Center in Everett. This is we learn that the writing candidate in this election, the guy behind the whole Tweakerville thing, now tells us that was a political stunt, a stunt that may end up working. Can you give me a hand trying to understand so I can talk to the customer about what's going on? A lifelong gearhead, Gary Watts, likes to tinker with things. Body control module fault. This fall, it was an election. You don't have to be a politician to play politics. Watts made headlines over the summer posting a sign outside his Everett Auto Repair Shop proclaiming the city Tweakerville and live streaming the seedy activities of a homeless camp across the street. He now calls that a political stunt designed to call attention to his get tough views on addicts. I'm Gary Watts, your write-in candidate for mayor of Everett, Washington. Watts invested $50,000 of his own money into a writing campaign for mayor. He also met with both frontrunners, offering his endorsement to whoever would embrace his philosophy. Late in the campaign, Judy Tui appears to have done just that, calling Everett's efforts to tackle the drug problem a failure. Judy made a strategic move, and that strategic move made the front page of the local newspaper, and I think it pulled a significant number of votes in her favor. Early results showed Watts with more than 10% of the vote, about 10 times the usual number for a write-in. Elections officials say that, coupled with low turnout, could sway this election. Okay, catalytic converter problem. Watts What's plans the, to uh, use his newfound the... status in future elections, possibly creating a political action committee to target politicians he thinks are weak on crime. That's a tough yeah. trade. More tinkering under the hood to come. That's a warning to the folks that are running the city today, and they know me well enough to know that when I say something, that's what I do. Today, Judy Tui told me that she has spoken with Mr. Watts, as well as many other business people across the city of Everett, and she says that she does still support the current plan to deal with addiction and homelessness in the city, but they, she says that plan does not adequately address all the people who fall victim to the crime associated with that, and she plans to address that first thing if indeed she holds on to this ever so slim lead of just seven votes at this point. We're expecting another uh, ballot drop tomorrow around 5 o'clock. We will keep you posted. For now, in Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.